Assalamu alaikum everyone my name is Ijab Fatma aka with love hf and today i am back with another video of my favorite books for the month of february so let's get into this video number one on the list is the places i have cried before by holy bone holy bone is one of an amazing writer and most of her writing is absolutely amazing so this is one of her great writings the places i have cried before an amazing book it is the story of a girl Emily who fell in love with the person named Reese thinks that she loved him and he loved her but it came out to be something else and she become after falling in love she becomes someone different which she wasn't and this is the story which will make you feel all the feels you can definitely definitely connect with that book when you read the book you will definitely come to know that there are certain kind of people in this world who say things which they don't mean who sue emotionally like abuse is not always physically but it is emotionally as well you know abuse in that sense that somebody is discouraging you somebody is making you feel that you are not worthy enough somebody is making you feel that you are not enough that is also one kind of an abuse so she become after going through all of these things she becomes someone different and then she questioned herself that real love isn't hurt like this so if you are someone who is going through the same thing and you are instead of becoming a better person you are getting yourself emotionally drained it means that it is not a real love so this is the story about this girl Emily when you will read this book you will feel all the feels of holy burn every word and you will definitely cry and you will definitely connect with this book so amazing read the places i have cried before by holy burn the other book number 2 sometimes we all uh, when we are putting ourselves online okay when we are putting our work and don't get enough encouragement it always makes us think aren't we doing the interesting things or is our life is not interesting that's why people are not subscribing or people are not following people are not liking our work and all these things comes in our mind when we are putting things online or when we are in the real world and people are not encouraging you or people's human nature to think like that so this book is also about manifesto on how to be interesting again by holy bone I have so many books of Holly Bourne and it she is an amazing writer as I said so this is also a book of a teenager girl named Bree she thinks of herself as a boring person and this is what the title is apparently I am boring a nobody but that's all about to change because I am starting a project here now for myself and if you want to come along for the ride that you are welcome so she started writing a blog and she started doing things to get the attention of other people so that other people can think that she is an interesting person so in that race of becoming an interesting person she chooses the wrong path some people want to get attention want to be famous and all that kind of thing but there are always two choices choosing the right path or choosing the wrong path so this book is about this and what it cost her you will find out in this book and the last line from this book is amazing when people are lying on their death bed they are never saying that i wish i would left mark on the world but they are always asking where are the people we love so what cost her going through all this thing it is kind of little bit uh, similar to the mean girl kind of a story and you will definitely enjoy holy burn the manifesto on how to be interesting number 3 on the list is my personal favorite self help book and uh, i started watching him in 2020 start and it's been two and a half years i have been watching him his videos are amazing and now he his podcast is like life on purpose or something purpose uh, it's also great and the book is none other than think like a monk by jay shetty this is about a self help book where jay shetty uh, combines the ancient ways with his own learning when you start reading this book from each and every point you will definitely definitely going to learn something and it will definitely help you and make you more better i personally really like this book and my favorite points there are so many favorite points but these two coming in my mind right now align with the passion number 2 is follow the pain in your heart it's an amazing uh, line follow the pain in your heart because when to the pain when you have hard things in your life or when somebody somebody hurt you deceive you betrayed you is always two paths 
to become like them or to choose to be a better person to become more kind and start helping other people and not to do the same thing with other people which happened to you follow your pain in your heart this is an amazing self help book you will definitely definitely learn something from it i come on by jay shetty give it a go and you will enjoy comes on to the end of this video okay so number 4th on the list is pakistani writer umaira ahmad all of her writings are absolutely great i have read all her novels and i absolutely loved all of them so one of my favorite 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 most favorite book of her is the pire kamil sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam this is an amazing writing by umaira ahmad it has a part 2 but i personally love this first part pire kamil sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam this, uh, this is the story of a girl named umama and salar sikandar the umama is actually a very religious girl and she's on the path of finding allah subhanahu wa taala to become a more better person salar sikandar is the complete opposite of what she is so how this girl become a better person and how salar sikandar who is a complete opposite of her become more better person and and turn toward allah subhanahu wa taala so this is a very interesting story i actually read this book in an entire day like it has a uh, 565 pages and i have read 565 pages in a day this story is so interesting you will definitely definitely learn a lot from this and some that i learned from this book is no matter what when you love allah subhanahu wa taala the things come in your way but first love allah and then everything is going to be happen and everything will be okay so i definitely learn a lot from this book it's one of my favorite give it a read pire kamil sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam by umaira ahmad and that's come to the end of this video i hope you like it if you like it or if you don't like it at all give it a thumbs up share with other people and subscribe to my channel it means a lot to me and thank you so much for watching my videos and thank you so much for being the part of my hiswa family this is me jaffa fatma signing off and i will see you next time bye